Guys, so uh, welcome back. So behind me, uh, in front of me, I mean, we've got something uh, a bit different. So um, I'm trying the camera and show you. So we have got a Manny Two telehandler. So this is an MLT 730115V, 115 horsepower Vario. And then we've got seven meter reach, three ton lift. So if you have a quick walk around the machine, you can see we've got Trelleborg tires, TH 400s. Uh, that's all I can see. Um, Twenty plate, big pickup hitch, and we've got like grease nip, grease points here. So it's easier to uh, actually grease it up rather than having to go under the machine and all over the place to actually do it. Um, also got uh, brake lights, or you know, lights, and then, you know, uh, spool valves and stuff like that. Uh, huge exhaust, air filter, like on the Ford. Um, Big traffic light, like the Kramer, but not as big. You can see we've also got a side camera here. And I forgot to say that the back we've got a reversing camera. So, walk to the front. So, you can see it's uh, supplied by R&D Machinery. Oh, I don't know if I have an Instagram or YouTube, so it's up to you wherever you find that. Big Manny 2 grab on the front. Now with the Kramer, they didn't have a Kramer grab, it's just a, I think it's a Cherry Products or out all but or something. Big spikes, one of them's been broken by someone before us. So what I like is you literally turn this up here and then you go inside the cab and to take, to unhook it, you basically, um, like as if you're grabbing or ungrabbing with the grab but you just have to switch that like like that oil pipes nice as well because you've got like a thing here you hold that for five seconds and it will like release all the pressure over there which is good so um we'll get in the cab and first thing I see is window rather than like a horsey door. Got a window, a uh, wind down window, which is good. Um, don't know if I prefer that to the one on the crane, which is like a horsey door, because you could kind of stand on in it or on it on the step down there. A bit better. Got mirrors stuff here. So air conditioning is nice and easy because you've got heating, air conditioning, press that, and then you've got the three different things, and auto. Um, we've got the joystick, which is really different to most other ones. So you've got like, uh, that's a grab and ungrab, that's extending your boom, uh, your boom on the side here, and you got forwards, neutral and reverse, don't know what that stuff there does. But you got a, I don't know if you can see, there's like a blue button there. Now you have to press that and you, if you don't, you can't use the grab or any hydraulics. Um, radio, nice. And then you've also got like a USB thing down here. And then you plug your phone in and then put your phone on that, which is nice. Nice and easy. We got all different buttons here, and I don't know what half of them mean, so I'm not going to tell you because um, I might say it's wrong, and then you do it, and then yeah. And we've also got space down here to put like stuff in. So you do this for releasing your hitch on the back, you lift it up. Hand rev, I like that because Kramer didn't have that. That's nice. You got space down there, more buttons and stuff. 
Um, lights. Uh, oh, we've got beacons. Uh, warning. Um, and some other stuff. Uh, indicators. And then you've got your windscreen wipers and stuff there. Various other stuff. Uh, handbrake. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We've got big speakers here as well. And we've also got the blind. Because the roof goes... Um, roof goes all the way up, right, round, and all the way around it. Just give visibility. Not... Brilliant over there, but it's better than the crane was. Um, that in the corner there isn't that good, but you can't because it's obviously the size of the machine. So we'll just get out quickly and have a look at the uh, engine. So, 115 horsepower. So, I think it's got like four or five oil filters and stuff. Uh, big radiator. Um, I don't know what half of this stuff is, but yeah. But that's what the engine's like. But it's quite nice because it's like got these things in it here and it makes it kind of nice looking. The other thing is the engine doesn't, the bonnet doesn't stick out quite high compared to the Kramer. Because you can see it that well. Uh, you, could, you could see it too well, I mean. And it would stick out, you didn't have great visibility down here. So, what we've been doing with this so far, I quite like this machine. At first it just didn't feel as nice as a Kramer, but it's a lot better now, I've used it more. It's also um, thinner than the Kramer, so I think it's probably a foot or two smaller, maybe just a foot, but yeah, a little bit smaller. It means you can get in the tight spaces and stuff, which is good. Um, Yeah, but you can see that bonnet I said about, see it's not sticking out so much, which is good. I don't know about the colour either, because I kind of like the Kramer colour, uh, both colours together, but then I like this because you've got the black beam on it as well. So, yeah. Hoping to test out a new Holland or case at some point, um, but we don't know yet. But um, I think we'll... Put some diesel in it and then turn it on and show you some other stuff, cool stuff on it. And then we'll take it for a little spin and then I'll show you how to do the grab in the bucket. Right, so we've started up the machine, you can see we've got all the stuff here. So you've got how fast you're going and then your revs, diesel, add blue, so three bars, we're just putting diesel in it now as well. How hot the machine is, how many, I think that's the revs per minute. Um, how, what an angle you're on, and then the time. And if we use this button down here to scroll, you can see here, pretty sure, got stuff on here as well, I don't know what that is though. I think that might be your speed, and then you can set your speed as well. You've also got a reversing camera, and a side camera, and then it shows you at the bottom there, what you're on. So basically this is also hydrostatic, so you've got brakes and then revs there. Pretty simple, a lot simpler than the Kramer. But um, we'll put some diesel in it and then we'll give you guys a quick tester on it. And then...
just doing bringing a log round now quickly and it's a uh, big grab you get plenty on it's not too bad on mud so that's all right So then guys, you've just seen some footage there of the uh, telehandler in action. So I couldn't film any more because I had to go and the telehandler had gone. So um, thanks, for, thanks to R&D for letting us demonstrate that for four days. Uh, quite a nice machine. Just want to test a few out and then we'll uh, see what we like the most. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.